Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Cream by Perla. As always, guys, uh, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel, and if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all information can be found down below in the description. And this hair is like this little hair right here is like keep standing up. Um. Anyways, we have Leo Virgo cusp. And again, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies and leave the rest. Um, Leo Virgo Cusp, we have Sunshine. Sunshine. Uh, no, I don't know any songs about Sunshine. Can you please stop with the barking? Um, but there's a lot of things that are falling into place. There are a lot of things that are finally manifesting for you. A lot of things that it just kind of seems like everything is going your way. You, you've caught the wave or you, you, you caught this frequency or this wave or where uh, you're, you're riding it along. Now, with that being said, um, no, nothing bad. I'm just trying to remind you guys to remember to stay in, a, in an energy of gratefulness. Um, do not allow the good things in your life. You can't get through because of the gate. You don't have to wait, mama. Um, do not allow the. Do not allow yourself to get into a space of um, being arrogant. Excuse me, arrogant or, um, yeah, I want to say arrogant. <clears throat> when when things start going your way. Um, when I say that, I don't mean don't celebrate, go ahead and celebrate, but do, do not believe that you are better than anyone else because we all have our moments, right? We all have our sunshine. We all have different things that we excel at, whatever it is that you are excelling at or whatever it is that is, um, you know, falling finally into place is because it's your time. It's because you put in the work. So always remember what, uh, what happened helped you get to that space or what helped you get to to us to to a destination or to um finally achieving something um whatever practices you have been doing whether that it that has to do with morning routines or bedtime routines whether that is meditating whether that is praying whether that is singing dancing whatever it is continue on doing it right uh, one of the examples that I always use when it comes to this is like you know how some people um, some people usually pray when everything is going to hell right when um, they're, they're, they're trying to figure something out when they're having a really hard time and they're they're pleading with God they're they're ple pleading with saints or whatever it is and then when everything gets better they forget that that communication line is still there yeah your spiritual team whatever it is that you choose to believe in is there to assist you during difficult times but they're also there to assist you on a daily basis so if you look at it that way by being grateful when things are going your way when things are manifesting the way that you want to then you continue to stay within that energy because it's almost kind of like i can't help you if I don't know that you need my help. And yes, being grateful and saying thank you may not necessarily be that you're asking directly for something, but you're saying thank you for whatever it is. So then they're going to continue on providing with that, right? So it's kind of like the way that I want you to look at things. Because again, you have a lot of great things coming your way. There, There is a sense of like... Um, you know, like when they say like it rains or pours, well, your blessings are coming in and they are pouring in from left to right. Um, stay humble throughout this experience, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and let's put out a love energy card. Now, the love energy card can be any type of relationship, romantic, platonic, spirituality with yourself, your passion, your desire retreat Ooh, you're asking to retreat um it's time to disconnect from the world i feel that as all of this is coming in and i think i said it in one of the other videos um uh i don't know which sign it was um and i had talked about this last week i didn't record um and i wasn't sick i wasn't anything i was just i i needed to be in a very heavy meditative state and when i say that i mean like hours of meditated um fasting different things and and at the moment when when i started it i wasn't sure why 
because nothing was coming um, in the sense as usually when I go into heavy meditation, when I go into fasting and things like that, it's usually for a purpose, for some type of deliverance collectively. But this time it was weird. And I'm like, but I could be doing like all of it. And I just didn't know what was coming, right? And probably like two or three days into it, um, back to back, things that I had um, set intentions for one of them was uh, about a year ago and then the other one was like probably less than three months ago um and a, and a couple of other things um certain intentions that i have written down for myself all came in like literally back to back back to back back to back and i needed to be in that space of retreat with myself in that meditative space to really allow myself to fully receive it and also go into that space of grateful, gratefulness, right? Go into that space, just me and spirit, you know, just there being present, right? And allowing myself to allow myself to fully just not physically receive it, but also spiritually and emotionally um, and mentally receive it. Because again, these are things that I thought I was going to have to wait years for them to happen. And didn't have to but i needed to be grounded enough in myself in order to receive it without a but or without allowing any intrusive energies of oh what's going to go wrong oh how long is it going to last right so i needed to be in that in that space in order to receive what was coming so retreat is not always a bad thing guys so let's go ahead and let's put out a closing message break the chain ancestral pa ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future this is why all your blessings are coming in to be honest with you there's a lot of ancestral patterns that you're breaking there's a lot of chains that, that you're breaking there is the this this um, profound healing energy when it comes to you and you're rewriting your future you're not going to um allow yourself to deprive yourself from living the life that you want and a lot of the times that does come when we are in solitude right when we are by ourselves we allow ourselves to receive what it is that is coming those blessings that are coming in for us but then we also allow ourselves to listen um, um, what it is that we're doing next, where it is that we're headed after this, right? Um, and that's kind of like pretty much what your week is going to be like. So there, uh, there's definitely going to be sunshine in your life when it comes to receiving what, what you've been waiting for, what you've been praying for, what you've been trying to manifest or whatever it is, however it is that you do it. Well, guys, that is all that I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.